Okay, welcome back. In this episode, we are about to install software on the Alex Moses controller. We also need the GUI to set the parameters on the board. Uh, Alex Moses board is fitted with uh, USB port there and it will emulate as a COM port on your PC. So what you will need to have which is not included in the Alex Moses board is a USB cable with a normal USB and a mini USB that will fit straight in uh, but first we need to download the drivers so that Windows in my case Windows 7 will recognize the board and emulate a COM port or serial port so how do we find the software, I'll zoom in on the computer, it's a simple screen. Open your favorite browser and I open Google, you might use something else. Uh, then you add simple Alex Moses brushless gimbal and the first response is the home page of this controller simplebgc.com so I will just click on that one and open in a new tab and the second answer is simple Alex Mose brushless gimbal from Viacopter I'll add that one to a new tab So this is the home page where you will be able to download the firmware and the program to put the firmware into the controller. So click downloads. Uh, if you are using a Mac or Linux, you should use OBR Jude program, but on Windows use the xloader.zip. Just click it and it will ask you to save this file. And I will just save it. And to make this easy, I save this on my desktop. We also need the software. Uh, I will be using 1.3 beta. So we need to download the hex file. I'll add it on the desktop. And we need the simple PGC GUI. So let's download that too. Uh, what's not as a download on simplepgc.com homepage is the actual driver that Windows will require when you connect the USB port. But uh, that driver is on the RC Group page where they have info. You just have to scroll down on this page to where they have added the files you can see they have to scroll down quite a bit to find them you see did I scroll too much? no, nope. here's the files and here we have Windows driver for the Silicon Labs USB 
we need to download that file and save it on a place where you will find it. Okay, I have the Xloader file, the simple BGC hex file, which is the firmware, the GUI, and the Windows driver. These are zip files, so just extract them and extract them on my desktop in a directory and simple BGC extract all extract okay that's the GUI and the Xloader which is the program to upload the firmware. Okay, we now have I'll move the zip files as we have extracted them and don't need them at the moment. We have the simple BGC GUI. We have the X loader for firmware and we have the Windows driver that we will need when we hook up the USB port. So what I be doing now I have connected the one part of the USB cable and I will just connect the USB cable to one of my USB ports and the Alex Moses controller will power up and Windows will add a little box I'll just put this away and we have the device driver software was not found and I don't care, I know so, without installing this driver, you won't be able to communicate with the Alex Moses board. Uh, there are different ways of how to do this. My favorite way is click on the start button, then uh, right click on your computer and properties. On the left hand, device manager. And you can see that we have the CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. So let's click that one. And it says driver for this device are not installed. But we have downloaded the driver. So just click update driver. Browse my computer. And what we did, we did extract it on the desktop with the CP21X VCP Windows. Click on that directory and then OK. And next. Windows has successfully updated your driver. Perfect. The device is working properly. You will now have Silicon Labs USB to UART bridge and pay attention to what's uh, at the end. It says COM6. We will need to remember that when we start to give our close this box as we have fixed it. So the next part before we start the GUI is we need to load the Alex Moses controller with some firmware so it will work. On PC 
uh, Windows XP or Windows 7 use the X loader it's a lot easier just open it okay I put this down it's easier for you guys to see what's happened Let's see if I can zoom in on that box so you can see what's happening. You need to put in uh, the hex file we downloaded, the firmware file, which we saved on our desktop. So just pick it, simple BGC dot hex perfect open device you can change this it's simple BGC and then you need to select the serial port and I have two in this computer and as I said number six was this one what will happen now is really interesting because when you click the button upload it will say upload failed that actually means that is it, it was a success so I click upload it says uploading and it says upload failed that means, <laughs> I don't know why, but that's the way it is. Upload failed means we are clear to go. So I'm just gonna shut that window down. And I will remove the USB cable and put it in again. So the controller can put up on the upload the firmware and now start the simple BGC GUI and I will use the one made for Windows 32 and let's fire up the GUI. Zoom in a bit so it's maybe easier to see. Okay, on the left hand you will have your uh, COM ports, and we are using COM6. And we have a lift off. In the next episode, we will calibrate the accelerometers and the board and put in the, the values that we have made some flight testing with so see you in the next episode